Praise Jesus, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again today uh, at Word Music TV. I hope you are having a good time wherever you are. Let's pray and begin this, this one. Lord, I thank you for this wonderful session. And Father, may this word bring freedom to our soul. May this word encourage our soul. May it inspire and may it challenge our soul uh, for your glory. May it attract uh, to this to the kingdom of God uh, new believers and new converts in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. <laughs> so, about it is finished. Yote ya mekwisha. It is finished. Either ni generational curse, lana, uh, roya mababu, all those things that we get to hear from, you know, ministers here and there. It is finished, manze. It is finished. It's so sad. It's so sad that many people live in fear. Many people live in confusion. Many people live in, um, you know, uh, bitterness. Yesu alilipagarama yote. Kama damu ya Yesu, haikutosha kutulipia garama. Sioni mbuzi, sioni hela, sioni eh, kitu ambaye itatosha. If the blood of Jesus did not pay all our debts, then there is no way damu ya, ya mbuzi. Italipa garama. Yeah, I have a call. Hmm? Kama kifo cha Yesu hakikulipa, kifo cha Mungu. Can you understand this? The death of God himself dying on behalf of our sins. Hiyo inamaanisha kama gukako alikuwa mchawi. Ukaokoka. Dhambi zote za gukako zinakatikia hapo. Hakuna dhambi unaekelewa juu ya kichwa yako. No, 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 no. No generational curse, brother. As long as you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, generational curse has nothing to do with you. So kwanzia leo nataka uanze kujiangalia kama mtu ambaye amebarikiwa na uko na Mungu. The only thing that you now need to learn is information and principles. Because a lot of you Christians have been decapitated you, a lot of christians have been done wamefanywa kuwa viwete they don't want to go to work they don't want to to work hard wakisema wanamngoja mungu after umekombolewa lazima upige mboka usweat ndio usosi biblia inasema asiyefanya kazi na asikule <coughs> Make sure siku ikiisha umefanya kitu do something ujalaaniwa you are just lazy hauna generational curse you are just lazy for you to be a doctor you need information you go and do studies of unaenda unasomea udaktari for you to be a mechanic, you need information. You don't need to be prayed for. You need information. As long as you are a Christian, you need information and principles. There is a lot of countries that are very wicked. A lot of countries that have even allowed uh a lot of things that are that are against god's will to happen in those nations but how watu wanakula kila siku because wana apply principle ya mungu the principle principles of god they work for everybody they work for everybody so christians should do away with that mentality unaangalia angalia ati ama kwetu ama nini there is nothing kama kwenu na nini when in Christo manze
Listen, don't fast to be blessed by God. Every time, when, when Jesus fasted for 40 days, it was not about blessings of God and what not. The Bible says, and the Spirit of God led Jesus into fasting. And don't fast if the Spirit of God has not led you. So for you to fast, there must be a relationship between you and God. Fasting, see, I mtu, ati mlevi ametoka tu uko, mtu amekuja ajaokoka, jamkubali yesu kwa maisha yake, ameana fast. What are you fasting? What are you fasting? Fasting is for believers only. Okay? Fasting is for believers only. Those who have a relationship with God. And when you fast, fast to know God more. There are many people out here with the things that you, fa- you pray about. Fast ujue mungu. Ukisha jua na mungu. Ukiwa na relationship na Holy Spirit. Ata kuambia what to do. There are many people out here. Wanaende Range Rover bila fasting. Wanaishi nyumba za 100 million bila fasting. Kau tu wame exercise principle, wame wakad, wakona information, na wakapata the things of this world. When you fast, get to know God and the will of God more. Don't fast for things. That's a very lower level as a Christian. If you don't know the word of God, you will be manipulated with many false prophets. Ni kama ni waganga lakini wamejiita manabii. Utaenda unaona venye unaenda kwa mganga ukiingia kwa mganga unafika na kwambia ndugu yangu kama haungekuja jana kesho ulikuwa ukufe. <laughs> Sasa fanya hivi. Tunataka ngombe ambaye ina rangi yeah, rangi ya orange ya kich, machungwa you wonder where we will I get such a cow na uhakikishe ni rangi ya machungwa that's the same thing false prophets are doing umelaaniwa kwenu kuna laana inakufuata which one which one end up being a christian don't tell me that nonsense Naomba Mungu kwani Mungu wangu ni kiziwi. Laana gani? We. Stop it. You false wicked prophets. Repent and turn your ways. Badilisheni venye mna preach. God atawakubali. Hata Creflo Dollar juzi amekaa akasema manze historia ya tithing nimekuwa nikiwaambia. Nimekuwa nikiwaingiza. You don't need to tithe to be blessed. God akubariki kwanza ndio utithe. Every time people are praying, God anakupea seed unamrudishia. Anakupea seed umeomba, "Eh Mungu nibariki." Anakupea seed ukapiga mboka. Unamrudishia. Is the owner of universe. Unapeana kila kitu, tithe ni ya nyumba ya Mungu isikose mkate. Skiza Patia neni tithe zenyu, nyumba ya mungu isikose mkate. Sindio i break generation curses. Sindio i fungue madhabau siju ya nani. I don't know where these doctrines came from. We need to go back to the truth and let the people be set free. Listen. When the power of God is in you, the man, the man was possessed with demons, Ali Omba Jesus, don't destroy us. People, many people are chained by fear. They want to be delivered and be forgiven. Many people are chained by fear. Because they, 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 they don't believe they have been delivered or forgiven by God. Receive by believing. Believe, see, feeling. Ni knowing and understanding. Believe, see, feeling. You understand? 
damu ya Yesu msalabani inatosha the rest we need to apply principles damu ya Yesu kwa msalaba inatosha the rest we need to apply principles tuache kupoteza watu James 5:14 inasema na wazee wa kanisa uh, James anauliza kuna mmoja kati yenu mgonjwa kuna mmoja kati yenu mgonjwa na wazee wa kanisa washikane wamwekelee mkono wagonjwa hiyo ni simple wazee wa kanisa washikane waombe watu wagonjwa hiyo ni kazi ya wazee wa kanisa James ameuliza na wamwagilie mafuta na mgonjwa atapona We need to preach this thing the right way. That's the only way we will save a generation because watu wamedanganywa, watu wako na uoga, watu wameambiwa wamelaaniwa na hakuna mtu amewalaani. You understand? Uh, listen. Jesus never asked for tithes and offerings. And he is our example. If I ask he was supported by Joanna, Susanna, Joseph and Nicodemus. He was supported. He never asked for tithe and offering. Even me, I am requesting you guys to support me to support this ministry. But I'm not asking you for your tithe and offering. And if I happen to have a church, I will ask for your tithe so that the house of God will not lack bread. Because in the book of Acts 4:34 in Asema and Peter and John what were later when they were walking in power and grace what were later vitu mingi kwa miguu zao na wakazi distribute kwa maskini venye walizi distribute kwa maskini Biblia inasema hakuna mtu aliyekuwa na hitaji lolote I awakujiekea hizo tithes. So when I have a church, mkileta tithes. Zitakuwa za watu za kusaidia maskini, za kusaidia watu ambao wa Mungu wamefinywa na system za hii dunia. Si yangu ya kujitajirisha. That's the purpose of tithing. So we need to change the narrative of generational curse. If you are a Christian, it is finished. Kwa msalaba. Otherwise usponifikia utauza kila kitu ignorance eh na hapo Mungu hata ingilia utauza zote na you will go broke because you don't listen and you 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 do as you think read the word of god if you don't read the word of god you will be lied on most of the people ambao wanagongwa na watumishi wa Mungu is because of their ignorance usiposoma utasomewa usipoomba utaombewa <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pray. We will continue part two next time. Father, we thank you for this session. May it be a blessing to somebody. May it be a blessing to the soul that is watching and may they be encouraged and you know be uplifted and may their spirit be uplifted in Jesus name. I do pray and believe. Amen. Subscribe, share. Uh shukran. Itaweza mbaya.